Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Spirits of Elid. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is short, about 15 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 33 magic, 37 range, 37 mining, 37 thieving, and the ability to defeat three level 75 golems. The required items for this quest include telekinetic grab spell, which is one law and one air rune, needle, two thread, crush, stab, and slash weapons, light source, knife, rope, pickaxe, bow and arrow. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have two Narda teleports, filled water skins, desert clothing, and fez. There is a map in the description that will help you identify some of the key points of this quest. Go ahead and open that up to keep it handy. You start the quest by going to Narda, either by using a teleport or by carpet from Shantae Pass to Polnivnich to Narda. Talk to Awusa, the mayor, who is located in the eastern part of the city. Select, I am an adventurer in search of quests. Any idea how you got this curse? And okay, I'll have a look around and see what I can do. Walk just north from the mayor into another house and speak to Gassler, the elder. Say, I am trying to find out the cause of this town's curse, and river spirits, what are they? He will give you a scroll. Go west to the next house over and speak to Sharadi the custodian. Say, I am trying to find out the cause of this town's curse. Search the cupboards in the room to receive a torn robe top and bottom. Use your needle on the torn clothes to mend them into robes of Elidinus. Go to the east side of the room and use your telekinetic grab on the ancestral key on the table to get it. Head northwest out of Narda until you come across a river. Follow the river north for a while until you reach a waterfall. Once there, use your rope on the route above you to climb inside. Put on your robes of Elidinus and enter the stone door. Ignore the door to the north and instead walk east to three doors. Here is where you'll need to fight three level 75 golems. Each golem is weak to either crush, stab, or slash. First equip your crush weapon. Make sure that the attack style is set to crush and try to open the northeast room. A black golem will attack you, but is pretty easy to defeat. Once you beat him, enter the northeast room. You'll see a target on the other side of a water channel. Equip your bow and arrow and shoot the target to clear the channel. Now equip your slash weapon and try to enter the east room. Enter the room once you have defeated the gray golem and click on the water channel to clear it. Equip your stab weapon and try to enter the south room. Once a white golem is defeated, enter the room and click on the water channel to clear it. Now you can enter the northern door that you first saw when you came into this room. Walk around the lake until you come across three spirits. Talk to any one of them and answer, I come as an emissary from the people of Narda. And is there anything that they can do to get their fountain working again? They will tell you that you must retrieve the statue of Elidinus and return it to the shrine in Narda. Use your Narda teleport and talk to Awusa again. Take the mayor's shoes that are located just near the front door and walk outside. Use your knife on the shoes to get the soles. Walk directly west out of Narda until you come across a crevice. Use your rope on the crevice to get inside. Walk through the door to your north and talk with the genie. Say, I'm after a statue that was thrown down here. Maybe I can make a deal for it and okay, I agree to the deal. Talk with the genie again and give him the souls. Go back to Narda and place the statue on the plinth that is located in the same building with Shirati, the same one you stole the key from. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 8,000 prayer experience, 1,000 thieving experience, 1,000 magic experience, access to Narda's fountain and shrine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.